The human population is rapidly increasing and approaching 7 billion people. This vast population relies on local and global markets to grow and distribute their food. In the United States, approximately 80% of the population lives in urban areas that depend on mainly rural farms to supply their food. Industrial agriculture has been touted to be the grand solution to feeding the world. But what if there are other options? Ultra-local urban farming is becoming increasingly popular as a possible solution to our growing food crisis. In the United States, the majority of our salad greens and vegetables come from Salinas Valley, California, also known as America's Salad Bowl. The produce is industrially grown, watered, washed, packaged, and shipped across the country to its millions of consumers. We are spending far more energy to get food to the table than the energy we get from eating the food itself. A head of lettuce grown in Salinas Valley, California, and shipped 3,000 miles to Washington, D.C., requires 36 times as much fossil fuel energy in transport as it provides in food energy upon arrival. Instead of consuming salad greens from across the country, why not harvest them from the roof of your apartment building? Growing food in vacant lots, on rooftops, and in parks has positive economic, environmental, health, and social impacts on urban communities. Residential urban neighborhoods generally lack local commerce because today it is more common to purchase your food from a chain retailer rather than an independently owned grocery store. Urban farms help boost the local economy by producing and selling within the city and keeping profits in the area. Urban farms also create full and part-time jobs for locals in areas that need them most. With the economy the way it is and the lack of jobs, uh, we're going back in history to an agricultural society and aspect. So yes, there's lots of room for growth in this. A shift to buying and selling ultra-local produce would also promote environmental stewardship. A majority of produce in the United States is grown using industrial methods in a small area of California. Transporting fresh produce across the country requires the product to be carefully packaged, sprayed with chemicals to preserve its freshness, and then shipped using fossil fuels so that we can enjoy a red pepper in our salad at lunch. By growing our own fruits and vegetables locally, huge amounts of fuel, packaging, and even chemicals can be reduced. Large-scale farming relies on pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers for successful growing seasons and do not pay for their environmental externalities. No chemicals, no pesticides at all. We don't have uh, many deer on the roof here in Federal Hill, except for Christmas Eve. And uh, we don't have uh, birds eating all the vegetables, so it's, it's, a very, it's a perfect environment to grow fresh herbs and vegetables on the roof of the restaurant. And it's uh, very gratifying to go up to the roof and cut down kale and uh, present it like 10-15 minutes later on a plate along with fresh herbs. People really appreciate that. Organic urban farmers rely on smaller areas for production and directly pay for their actions making them better stewards of their plot of land. By following organic practice, you know, we're, we're taking care of the ground. Now we grow in compost, so we're not really using, we're not having to be stewards of, you know, a field, um, but we are taking, you know, we get our compost from Chesapeake uh, Composting, and they're going around and collecting food waste from local restaurants, and composting it, and so the cycle gets, you know, completely Close. We're trying to close that loop as much as possible. So. Urban farming is not only good for the physical environment, but for human health as well. Produce that is produced locally tends to be more nutritious due to its shorter production to consumer cycle. Also, urban farmers are less likely to douse their produce in potentially dangerous chemical fertilizers and pesticides due to consumer demand and proximity to communities. I'm not going to make any health food claims for big city farms produce, but I think that the type of lifestyle associated with buying local sustainably grown produce is probably a healthier lifestyle. A physical proximity to the origin of your food makes you respect the process as well as have higher expectations leading to a better overall product. Community-based gardens and farms are also a great way to bring people together and reconnect them to the earth beneath the asphalt. Whether it is through volunteering at local farms, seeing your farmer on your daily commute, or buying produce from them at your Sunday farmer's market, 
proximity to the production of food creates a dialogue and connections that are less apparent in industrial food production. You meet a lot of people who otherwise might not be interested in eating fresh or local produce, mm -hmm. but who have a sort of sense of community pride for their neighborhood or their city. When they hear that it's grown in an urban environment or their neighborhood, they become interested for that reason. Urban farms are also important because they make fresh produce accessible in areas that otherwise don't have it. Some urban farms, like Real Food Farm in Baltimore City, make it their mission to provide fresh produce to food deserts in lower income areas of the city. Also, many urban farms run programs to educate local youth on the importance of fresh produce. White Lock Farm has a program with the elementary school where we go to the, the school or they come to the farm um, twice a month. And so they got the kids got to start their own seeds and like kind of manage their own spot at our farm. And then a lot of the other um, farms have like a farm club where we even work with teenagers in the, the high school. Real food farm works with their high school a lot. So. In cities across the country, there are urban farms sprouting up on abandoned parking lots and rooftops. These community and locally run farms are taking vacant land and turning it into productive, positive space. Cities are spaces of innovation and will continue to grow in modern society. The opportunities for urbanites to grow their own food are endless and benefit the earth, their pockets, and use otherwise useless space. Farming doesn't just belong to the countryside anymore. A new generation of farmers is emerging as people are becoming increasingly aware of where their food comes from and they are searching for better options. There's a bright future in urban farming and it's just beginning to sprout.